So after running the tool, the result comes up in your layer menu with the name Reprojected. So please be aware that this is just a temporary layer which will be gone if you close the project. It will not be the next time you open it. So we can make this permanent by clicking on this little icon. So this is just a scratch layer which we can save as, for instance, a shape file. We could give it a name, but you should also make sure to save it on a location where you want it to be saved. So as default, this may end up in where the system has set as a temporary folder, which may not be where you have stored your data. So you could browse to where you want the data to be stored and give a name for the permanent layer. Now, I would also like to change the layer name, which is actually what is appearing here in the layer menu, but QGIS does not allow me doing that, so I'll need to do that later. If we refresh the browser, this is the new layer name appearing here with the name Reprojected. So let's um, see if we can rename the layer. Now we've got writing access, so we can just type in here the wanted name and I just call it the same as I call the file name, UTM32. 